thank you so much to everybody who is supporting me on Patreon. Your generosity and support is greatly appreciated. I love you all so much. If you like what I do and want to support me in a more personal way, then consider joining my Patreon page today. There will be a link at the top of the description. Hello and welcome to a product review video. This is from Trix Bricks, which make custom railway related products for Lego railways. And this is for a ballast piece for a set of points and one corner. In this order, I got a small little pair of buffers for free, which I thought was quite nice. But the main focus is going to be on the ballast pieces themselves. Now, at first, I was a bit surprised when the ballast pieces came in separate pieces. I wasn't expecting the points thing to be in three different sections and the curve piece to be in two different sections. But at the same time, once I started to get used to it, I thought, you know what, that's actually alright. I can fit it together nicely instead of having to try and squish it all on in one go. And it did work really well this way. And I thought, you know what, if it actually was one solid piece, there could be an area that wouldn't be correct and there'd be the whole thing ruined. So, you know, looking back now, it does make sense. But all in all, putting them on the main track piece is a nice snug fit, both for the points and for the curve piece. I only bought one of each because I'm going to be using this for my layout, but it's also going to be as an experiment. If I do like these enough, I could buy some more in the future. There is no interference when operating the switch on the points, and taking them off is just as easy as putting them on. It's nice and snug, but at the same time, it doesn't take a lot of effort to take them off. May as well put a bit of focus onto the buffers since they arrived. And these are quite nice, actually. I think that the fact that they are five studs long is a bit weird because potentially when it comes to making a layout and how I'm going to arrange the track, it could interfere with how I have the straight track set up on my base plate, but I seriously doubt it. And looking close enough, you could definitely tell that they are 3D printed, but there's nothing preventing you from using them anyway. It's still a really nice piece. So now with some time going by, I have added all of the sleeper pieces, the 1x1 one one and 1x4 one smooth tiles in light bluish grey. This looks quite nice because, you know, having to ballast a pair of points or any corners with Lego bricks is tedious, but with these solid pieces, it's really helpful. However, if you look to the points here now, you can see that they're not quite straight, and there are some that kind of dip at an angle, and it's ever so slight, but the more you look at it, the more obvious it becomes. And that kind of annoys me, because the uniformity of it all isn't there. But at the same time, this is something I'm definitely going to see myself using in the future for more sections of the layout, because it just makes ballasting and adding the sleepers so much easier. On the inside of the curves and a little bit on the point section as well, there are some studs that are kind of not full studs because if you have them full and that close together, you're not going to be able to attach any bricks properly and it does make sense to have it like this. So I'm actually quite impressed that they actually went ahead and did something like this instead of leaving it blank. That means I can still add my sleeper pieces throughout the rest of my balance and I'm keeping it consistent throughout all of my track on my layout. So here they are now installed onto my next layout segment. Don't worry, I'm not going to show you the rest of the segment because it's not actually complete. In this form as well, it's not the final form. But looking at the track itself, it's so nice to see the points added in there. And it just has a nice, clean, consistent look, especially going off into the siding. It's really nice to see something like this. And I never would have attempted brick building ballast pieces for the points and the corners. Frankly, I'm a bit lazy like that, but at the same time, I'm really glad a product like this exists. If you have your own LEGO Railway and want to have ballast and sleepers added to your layouts, this is definitely a way to go. I will leave a link to the Trix Bricks website in the description if you want to try these out. Once again, please remember that these are 3D printed. And while some people do have a bit of an iffy feeling about 3D printed products, the consistency for me is, what, well, despite only having two pieces, are actually really good. Again, they're nice snug fits, they look really good, they fit really well. The colour is near enough a match for the Lego grey that's being used. Also in the description at the top you will find a link to my Patreon page if you like what I do and want to consider supporting me. Be sure to follow the link and support me on Patreon. Thank you all ever so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.